Monday, happy Motivation Monday. Today, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my 31 days of fall. As you can see, I'm in my car. I am driving to my office. I have to do a couple of tasks and then I'm going to head back home. But yes, today is Motivation Monday. I want to find out what motivates you. Drop your comments down below and talk to me. Tell me what motivates you to move, to get things accomplished, to um, stop doing a certain thing, to start doing a certain thing. I would like to know what is your motivation. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Here are some things that get me motivated. One of the things that gets me motivated, especially when it comes to house chores and work, laundry, all of that, is knowing that the um, outcome outweighs the either um, reservation to start. So, you know, laundry is a two-edged sword to me. I like doing it because it does soothe me sometimes, especially when I'm in my zone, I'm by myself. I really do like it better when I am energetic and it's late at night and the house is closed down, everybody's in their bed, and it's just me downstairs and I'm doing laundry. I like those moments. If I'm tackling it tired, that's a wrap. So just knowing that my house will be in more order, um, laundry will be done. The family will have clean clothes to get them through the next few weeks. Things of that nature. Seeing that laundry pile down does motivate me as well. I will say that these past weeks have been a little hard or harder, I'll say, as far as finding some motivation. Especially after a lot of us have come out of uh, strict strict quarantine and we've been stuck in the house and stuck to face doing uh, dishes for breakfast lunch and dinner and doing laundry because I know I have been my husband even had to say I have been on the laundry like just a t-shirt couldn't even hit the floor and I'm grabbing at it and throwing it in the washing machine but um Lately, I have been becoming more lax. I think I was just exhausted. So um, even though it's great to be motivated and want to get everything done and boss up and accomplish and conquer the world, you do have to allow your t yourself time to relax and unwind so that fatigue can trickle out of you because we have been in these uh, on uncharted waters that we have never really experienced maybe maybe our parents have or grandparents can attest to living in somewhat times like this but you do have to allow yourself to rest so you can regain and recapture your motivation for your next task so I try to relax when my body is telling me I need to relax and sometimes I just don't get the task done that day sometimes it just has to wait and I'm okay with that the dishes may have to sit in the sink an another couple of hours another night I'm okay with that I don't lose any sleep now I love to go to sleep with a clean kitchen I really really do but some times there are times where we are just either too tired life is moving too swiftly and we have to get in bed. My legs are burning and I can't, my back is hurting and I can't stand another minute. So I will allow myself the um, room to just be a human and to live. You know, so um, I, I can't speak to the OCD people out there. I just cannot. But for me, I love to have a clean home everything in its place and a place for everything but um, I do allow myself time to breathe time to relax 
And sometimes time to just be plain lazy. I call it what you want. I don't I don't even know a better word for it, but just to really relax and to recuperate because we do work hard and we need to allow ourselves to be off the hook sometimes. And I do have a supportive husband. Yes, I do. He will cook. He will um, clean and things of that nature. He doesn't really stay on my back like that either. So that's a blessing as well. And then I am putting the little lady to task. She will like vacuum the stairs and clean up after the pet. And sometimes she'll do dishes on her own. I won't even have to ask her. She cleans her own bathroom for the most part. When I need to give her bathroom a deep clean, I'll do it myself because it's just nothing like a good deep clean. But the little lady as well, she's growing up and taking responsibility for cleaning areas as well. So yeah, guys. Just let me know what motivates you and what what things also do you like to do to unwind and relax. Do you read? Do you soak in a tub? Do you watch movies? All of the above. Let me know down below. So after I finish my um, evening of laundry, I um, just fed the family. Uh, we had Chinese takeout because um, once I came from the office, I was just too tired to start dinner. And that's another thing. Some days I will prep my meals ahead of time. and Other days I do not. I just go off the hip. And today was one of those days where I was not prepared for dinner. And we had to go to plan B, which everybody was happy with that. So no qualms here. But um, yes, yeah, so I finished uh, the little ladies' loads of laundry and I'm gonna work on mine and the hubbies probably tomorrow. But yes, yeah, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. And this is one of my favorite rugs. And I don't think I ever showed you guys this rug that I did haul from, I can't remember if it was from Kohl's or Kirkland's. I wanna say Kohl's, but I could be mistaken. But it's my, uh, my greeting for this uh, fall season. Happy fall, y'all. I thought it was so cute. And when I saw it, I had to grab it. Um, a couple of months ago, I believe. But yes, so I hope and pray that you guys had a great motivational Monday. And I also forgot to mention I am ending my motivational Monday on a high note because I did have parent teacher conferences all day. Um, not all day, but the, the earlier part of the morning, I had a a uh, few parent teacher conferences and the little lady is doing phenomenally well so I am going to sleep in a great mood a proud mommy moment she's just really really maintaining her A plus status her uh, first honors status <laughs> as always wishing you comfort and joy from my heart to yours <laughs>